on The Future of Publishing, we're going to be discussing image monetization and how you can make money with images in your sites. I'm Murray Newlands, and I'm here with my co-host Oliver Root from Viglink. And we're also joined by Ray from Stipple and Chaz from Illuminate. Oliver, over to you for the first question. Thank you. Thanks for joining us, guys. Why don't we start with Ray. Tell us a little bit about image monetization and what a publisher's options are. Uh, there are a, a, a mind-boggling number of images on the web, and they make up a large percentage of every page on virtually every publisher's site on the web. Uh, the idea or the, the goal of Im image monetization is to transform um, what on most web pages is just pixels, kind of dead space on the page, into both engaging content for users and monetizable content for publishers. And so businesses like Stipple and Luminate uh, are both focused on helping publishers to do that. In our specific case, we are focused on not only helping publishers monetize their images on site, um, but ensuring that when an image is tagged, that the information or the ads or commerce follow that image around the web. Cool. Very cool. Thank you. Chaz, same question to you. Sure. I, I think that historically on the internet, there, there have been two ways that we could make money through advertising. One is by inserting advertising somewhere near content, and the other is using content, ad-supported content as a mechanism to enhance the experience. And so at Luminate, at Luminate what we're doing is we're making images interactive with relevant content and services, and those content and services are sponsorable opportunities that make the publisher money while also augmenting the user experience. Cool. Thank you. So Jez, what kind of content is working best for image monetization? I, the, uh, Illuminate started its business I around entertainment images, and our first couple of applications were designed for that. Uh, as, as we've broadened the suite of applications that make different kinds of images interactive, there really is no limit. When people are looking at sports images, they want statistics on the player that they see in the image. When they're looking at entertainment images, they might want information about what he or she is wearing. They might want to see a clip from their latest movie or hear their latest single. But even content such as news, consumers are interested in how they can help. And so right. applications around images can span the spectrum of categories. Thank you. And then how are you seeing what kind of content is working well for your publishers? I, I largely agree with Chaz. The name of the game is context. Um, so wherever an image lives, um, that image is living on a site. You can imagine that a publisher chooses content that they believe relates to their audience. And so if you have an interested audience in a body of content, as long as the, the tags or the layer of information that's being delivered inside of that photograph is relevant to the audience, they all perform well. Uh, in terms of a uh, monetizable content, i.e. Uh, what photo content are advertisers, advertisers willing to spend the most uh, to pay for, uh, we see lots of support, obviously, in consumer packaged goods, automotive, um, uh, home, interiors, uh, and the fashion and e-commerce space uh, are the big categories in terms of where the dollars are being spent. But in terms of, you know, I think publishers have a, a two-sided challenge, user engagement and how much money do they make. Typically, that's a trade-off. The more money we want to make on our site, the worse the user experience is and, and vice versa. Uh, but typically, where it works well uh, in terms of the, the advertiser spending the dollars is in those categories. Thank you. So in our next segment, we're going to be discussing, that's very timely, how much money publishers can make. <laughs> 